We have reporters all across Southeast Alabama to bring you the latest information. We go first to reporter Rosanna Smith, who is in Dale County for us. She's joining us live now with the latest information. Rosanna, what can you tell us about what's going on there? Right now it's still very soggy, still very wet, still very windy. Now I'm here on County Road 14 in Dell County and just about four hours ago this roadway was covered with water. Now that water's receded, traffic is coming through. Now this wasn't one of the roads that was closed, but I did speak to Houston, Dale and Geneva County engineers and they told me that there was no reports of um, you know, uh, structural damage or property damage, but there was several reports of road closures. There was three in Dell County, there was 12 in Geneva, and six or seven in Houston. Now, they made sure they told me that if people come in contact, come up to roadways that are closed, there's barricades up, they need not to pass those. I spoke with Houston County Road and Bridges Supervisor Brad Burgess, and this is what he had to say about that. Uh, I recommend folks, if you see water, turn around and go another direction. I know a lot of folks get used to going the same direction all the time, and they don't like to take alternate routes. But right now, that's the safe thing to do. Uh, we have a total of about seven to eight rows that's officially got water over them, uh, and it's anywhere from a foot to three to six inches of rain over them. Now you can see this field right behind me that is covered with water. Planting season here in Alabama has just gotten started, so this could be a big problem for farmers in the future. Now we can't say what damages that may cause in the future, but time will tell. So again, if you see barricades up, do not pass those. You don't know if the roads have been washed out. You don't know if pipes are exposed. You just need to keep yourself safe and you need to keep others safe. 